Hello everyone, my name is Mehak Jain and I am a dentist trained in the US. I've been through the International Dentist Program and believe me, I know how daunting a task is bench test because it's a very important component for your selection process. So this video is for those who have been preparing themselves for the bench test and want to self-evaluate their work to know whether it's good enough or not. And also for those who are new dentists or dental students who are working very hard to, towards their crown preps, they just want constructive criticism. So say, stay tuned um, and follow the video. I think there are four very important tools and we'll discuss each one of them. Very important tool is an enamel hatchet. I like the one with 1mm and 1.5mm width because most of the schools would ask you to have a finish line somewhere between 1mm and 1.2mm. So here I wanted to do make a 1mm width finish margin and I'm running my enamel hatchet very close to the axial wall and over the finish line and I'm identifying any, any areas where my enamel hatchet sticks out of the finish line. Right there I see it's about 0.1mm short so i would go back and increase the finish line there this is the most efficient way in my opinion to measure if you are short or over second is to check undercuts so all you do is lay your enamel hatchet parallel to the axial wall mesial or distal follow the area where the arrow points that area should be free of any space between the enamel hatchet and the tooth structure any space would indicate an undercut which you then want to remove if you have any next use of enamel hatchet would be to remove any unsupported enamel which is very important not only it smoothens out your finish line it also will remove the lipping lipping is a deficient error if you have any you have to remove it otherwise the subsequent crown fails which is not only important for the bench test but also for practical purposes to remove any unsupported enamel, you go over with your enamel hatchet with the working edge towards the tooth structure and go gently over it without digging in and it should just do the job. Next very important tool would be a periodontal probe. Uh, it helps you measure the distance between the margin and uh, the simulated gingival margin. Uh, most schools will want you to have a 0.5 mm supra gingival margin when you run over this periodontal probe from one side to the other you can totally determine in which areas you are short or over here i was trying to maintain a 1 mm supra gingival margin and periodontal probe was helping me to check if my margin is uniformly 1 mm supra gingival next up are condensers Condensers of 1.5 mm and 2 mm widths would be very helpful because these diameters are very important to measure the occlusal clearance depending on the type of crown you are aiming for. Here I was aiming for 1.5 mm clearance and all I do is run my condenser through and through between the opposing teeth and it should run really freely. That way you will know you've achieved your optimal clearance. One of the very important tools when you're first starting off, probably the most important would be putty matrix. Once you've prepared a correct putty matrix, it helps you determine if you're following the contours of the uncut tooth. Time and again, while prepping your teeth, you should be putting putty matrix over your prep teeth to see if you're following the contours. In this picture, you're seeing the occlusion clearance, labial contour, and the palatal contour. I'm trying to achieve the same contour as the uncut tooth. And this putty matrix is a tool which is next to none. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave me a comment. I would really like to answer any of your questions. Hope you all have good day and good luck.